He knows where the treat is, but he's having a tough time understanding that he needs to go underneath. Hey you guys, what's up and welcome back to our channel. Have you ever wondered how smart your dog is? Same, because like same, I don't I don't really know. I just think he's pretty smart. Today, we're going to be showing you how to take a doggy intelligence test. Featuring Cavalog the Corgi. Remember to like and subscribe this video and smash that notification button so you never miss another one of our videos. So Pavlov, I've been seeing some intelligence tests on the interwebs. Please love me. Dog intelligence test scores can train for trainability and for temperament. I think Pav is going to score pretty well. I feel like he's pretty trainable, really, you know, he's all, why are you logging it? So based on my research on the interweb, I saw some of the intelligence tests that people have done in the past. And some of that is putting a towel over your dog and seeing how long it takes to take it off, hiding treats under a towel, and then seeing how long it takes for them to retrieve the treat. Another one is putting a treat under a table and seeing if they can use their adaptive skills to use their arms to retrieve the treat. I don't think these tests really delve into how intelligent your dog is, but I thought it'd be fun to see how well Pav does with these tests. So, with that, let's see how he does. Are you ready to take your intelligence test? Are you ready? You're gonna do so good, Papa. The blanket tests will provide insight into your dog's ability to solve problems. So he got it off in about like nine seconds. I feel like it was faster than that. So I'm gonna film it one more time. Pat. Good boy! I would say he passed that one with flying colors. It went pretty well. Three points for Gryffindor! The next test is hiding a treat under the blanket and seeing how long it takes him to find the treat. So. The towel test will evaluate your dog's ability to problem solve. I'm gonna hide this treat under the blanket and see how- Hey, go to bed. Go to so the treat under there. And start, start the timer. Okay, go. So Pat found that in about 12 seconds, which is pretty fast. He knew that it was hiding under the blanket and that he wasn't gonna chew on top of it. A treat here. He's watching me. I'm gonna go under. Okay, ready? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're failing. Pat Bob, you're failing. I think it's still in there. Yeah, it's still in there. He's still trying to yank it out. Now he's doing this pathetic arm swing. Pathetic, Pav. Shake it out. Go get it. Get it. Get it, Pav. Get it. Get it, boy. Get it. There you go. Good idea. Good idea, bubs. Get it. And he got it! I think. Did you get it? I think he got it. Yeah, he got it. So he got the treat. Took him a little while. <laughs> so that was pretty easy for him. He knew to go under the towel and he knew to use his nose. He's really good at using his nose to find food. Corgis tend to be very food motivated dogs, so I think that was like a really fun game to him. 
we're gonna put the treat somewhere where it's not accessible by his snout. And he's gonna have to use his paw to climb under and grab it. So we're gonna see how all this works. I want to show you guys what's going on right now. It's um, so Pav is trying to get it with his paw. He tried. Now he's resorting to this weird thing that he always does. I think he failed this one. Not doing so well. Get it. Give up. Bite on my book. I don't know how fair this one is to breeds with small arms, so I don't feel like this is really applicable to corgis because their arms are just too short to use. And I think he just knows he doesn't have very functional arms. Um, not really a fair test. So I don't know if I, this one will count for us, but if so, he got a zero. The last test is the cup test. I'm going to be showing Pavlov that there are treats under one cup. I'm going to distract him for about 30 seconds, maybe play some tug, um, bring him back and see if he remembers which cup the treats are under. This one, okay. Ooh. Okay, so put it under this one. His working memory is pretty good. His memory retention seems to be working well. I also saw another variation of this test where you put the treats under one and then you point to another one with no treats under and see where your dog goes. So to see whether your dog reacts to physical commands or if he's more intuitive to his own smelling abilities. We'll see if Pavlov is more intuitive or if he is more of a command taking dog. So let's see. Definitely more oh, scent-based, I think. Pavlov is definitely more intuitive with himself than he is with his human. I think that was really interesting to see what he trusted more and he trusted his scent more, you know, which can get him in a lot of trouble sometimes. He finds treats and food all over our house all the time, so it's something to be aware of about your dog if they're really scent-intuitive and less human-intuitive. The boy, he did good today. Since Pavel's paws were too short to grab the treat under the couch, I feel like that was an unfair test to compare his intelligence to. I think he knew where the treat was and I think he knew how to get it, but his paws were just a little too short to reach the treat. So we're gonna replace it with another dog intelligence test that I found, and that is the dog's ability to read cues. One way to test this is when you grab your keys and your leash and you head towards a door to see if your dog knows exactly what's happening. Okay, he's going on a walk or he's going outside. So I'm gonna see if Pavlov will like this. Are you excited? You wanna go outside? Come on. Come on, Josh. He knows. He came. He conquered. He knew. So 
definitely passed this test. The flying colors, he was super excited to go outside. He can read cues really well. Um, we're so proud of you, Bubby. We're so proud of you. You're so smart. So Pavlov scored a total of 13 points, which means although he's not a genius, he's a smart darn cookie. And I have to agree, he's a very smart cookie. So one of the limitations for the intelligence test is only certain breeds can participate in some of the tests. Particularly, the paw test was something that Pavlov could not participate in since his paws were just too short. His motivation and intelligence was there, like he knew he wanted to use his paws to get the treat, but he was unable to physically. So that is one limitation, and I think that's why he scored 13. Otherwise, he scored perfectly on all the other tests. Regardless, it was a really fun test to try out on my dog. I really enjoyed seeing how smart he was and to see him thinking and using his brain. So I hope you guys try this out with your dog at home and let us know how your dog scored. Hope you guys like this video. Subscribe and hit the notification button so you never miss another one of our videos. Love you guys and see you in the next one.